CMA, calcium magnesium acetate, and with NAC, anhydrous sodium acetate, both low corrosion, environmentally safety icers used on roads, bridges, parking garages, and wherever corrosion, concrete damage, or the environment are of concern. This video will explain how to use CMA and NAC, and some of the major differences between CMA, NAC, and common de-icers like salt and urea. CMA is made from simple lime, like we use on our garden and lawns, and a concentrated form of vinegar. NAC is made from sodium hydroxide and a concentrated form of vinegar. Both are manufactured in the world's largest acetate de-icer plant, located in Fort Madison, Iowa. CMA was developed because there had long been a concern for damage to the environment and to structures like bridges and parking garages caused by the use of chloride de-icers. NAC was developed for use on airport runways and is now also used on bridges, sidewalks, and parking structures. NAC is faster and works at lower temperatures than CMA. Steel corrosion is a major concern for bridge and parking garage engineers. All chloride-based de-icers are aggressive to metal, causing corrosion to embedded steel rebar. This corrosion often goes unnoticed until cracks form in the concrete and corrosion products bleed to the surface. The rebar in this concrete is corroded and weakened. In the worst case, corrosion may weaken the structure enough to cause it to collapse. Consultants routinely recommend only CMA or NAC for parking garages to prevent corrosion and extend service life. CMA extends the life of structures already contaminated with chloride salts. Tests by researchers show the corrosion effects of salt-contaminated steel. Notice that after salt use is stopped and CMA is introduced, the rate of corrosion levels off to near zero. Looking at the extension of the useful life of the ramp versus the cost of maintaining or replacing it, the value of CMA and NAC is brought into perspective. For example, $50 worth of either product can save thousands per parking space in restoration costs. Additional savings can be expected from use on sidewalks and roadways. So even though they cost more initially, maintenance costs are less in the long run, making the cost worth the investment. CMA does not chemically attack concrete, nor does it promote concrete spalling. In fact, CMA is considered safe for concrete. NAC should be used on air and trained high quality concrete. CMA and NAC have been proven as effective de-icers. Both are applied like salt, but work differently than other de-icers. It is important that you know and understand these differences. When spread over snow, CMA and NAC pellets release heat as they dissolve and burrow to the surface. The treated surface prevents ice bonding and makes snow removal easier. NAC creates more brine. Time-lapse photography demonstrates how a single pellet works when placed on a block of ice. It successfully bores through the ice without leaving the briny residue that is common with salt. Although CMA and NAC bore through ice, they both work best if applied early, before ice forms or snow packs to the surface. They stay on the surface longer than salt and provide a residual action to prevent bonding. With repeated applications, less chemical is needed because of this residual effect. This reduces application frequency and makes snow removal easier. Until you become familiar with CMA and how it works, use 25 to 50% more CMA than salt per application by weight. Many users follow these higher application rates and gradually reduce as they gain experience with the product. Typically, CMA is applied at 15 to 20 pounds per 1,000 square feet, or 75 to 100 grams per square meter. NAC is typically applied at 5 to 7 pounds per 1,000 square feet, or 25 to 35 grams per square meter, at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius. At less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 12 degrees Celsius on 1 inch, or 25 centimeters of ice, NAC is applied at 10 to 25 pounds per 1,000 square feet, or 50 to 75 grams per square meter. As with other de-icers, timing is important. CMA, like salt, works best above 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 7 degrees Celsius. NAC is a low temperature melter. It works best above 0 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius. Application early in the storm is important. Most snow and ice storms start above this temperature range. CMA and NAC should be applied at the beginning of the storm. Apply the pellets when the surface has a small amount of snow or will shortly start to freeze. Premature application may result in product loss from wind or traffic. Late application reduces effectiveness. If snow has already accumulated, first plow or shovel snow off the surface before application to reduce dilution and increase the effectiveness. If snow is packed or ice is formed, spread CMA or NAC evenly and allow time for the pellets to penetrate to the surface. 
Once the pack is loosened, shovel or broom off the loose snow or ice to prevent the product dilution and refreezing of the ice or snow pack. Reapply the de-icer when snow accumulation shows a tendency to pack or bond to the surface. After application of CMA, the snow is lighter and fluffier. It takes on an oatmeal appearance, signaling time to plow or shovel. Knack creates more brine. CMA and Knack stick to the surface, providing long-lasting anti-icing action. They are better than salt at preventing pack, and because they continue working for a longer period of time, they require fewer applications. This means the amount of de-icer used for the winter may be about the same as salt or less. Equipment calibration is important. Both CMA and NAC are lighter than salt. Spread the de-icer evenly across the surface. Adjust the spreader so all the pellets remain on the intended area and are not wasted by being thrown off. A spreader deflector shield at the spinner may be helpful. Don't over-apply and create piles. Over-application may lead to tracking of excessive de-icer into building entrances. It may take some experience to determine the right amount of de-icer to use depending on climate, traffic volume, and surface temperature. Keep in mind that these de-icers weigh 44 pounds per cubic foot. Salt weighs 70 pounds per cubic foot, so you will see more pellets of CMA or NAC per square foot than salt. Experienced users will find that they can vary the amount of CMA or NAC used depending on the storm. Over time, you will find that you will be using less de-icer as you gain experience. Both CMA and NAC have been thoroughly tested according to OSHA and EPA standards. They are safe to use. When loading, there may be some dust. If so, take common sense precautions to protect yourself. Wear a dust mask, gloves, and wash after working with these products. Both de-icers will last indefinitely in storage if kept dry. Let's review the application of CMA and NAC. CMA works best above 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 7 degrees Celsius. NAC works best above 0 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 Celsius. To be more effective, CMA and NAC should be applied at the beginning of the storm. Product effectiveness diminishes as temperatures drop, as with all de-icers. Reapply when snow accumulation shows a tendency to pack or bond to the surface. Calibration is important. Apply 15 to 20 pounds of CMA per 1,000 square feet, or 75 to 100 grams per square meter. Apply 5 to 7 pounds of NAC per 1,000 square feet, or 25 to 35 grams per square meter at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius. At less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 12 degrees Celsius, apply 10 to 25 pounds of NAC per 1,000 square feet, or 50 to 75 grams per square meter. Don't over-apply and create piles, which can cause excessive tracking. Both de-icers will last indefinitely in storage if kept dry. NAC bags may require dropping two to three times before opening to loosen the pellets. You will notice a difference when you use CMA or NAC. Their unique properties will be easier on concrete, parking garages, doorways, roadways, bridges, parking lots, and the grass and trees around your walkways. Both CMA and NAC are safer for steel embedded in concrete. CMA is best for concrete that is less than one year old or for low quality concrete. Both de-icers are safe for the environment. For effective snow and ice removal, CMA and NAC are the clear choice.